remember what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Vanessa Bryant, the wife of Kobe Bryant, is heartsick over revelations that some L.A. County Sheriff deputies took photos of the remains of Kobe Bryant and other victims at the crash site, and she wants them punished. On the day of the crash, Vanessa reportedly went to the sheriff's office and requested a no-fly zone for the crash to keep photographers at bay. The sheriff basically told Vanessa, hey, I got your back. We'll do everything in our power to accommodate you. Vanessa's attorney said that Vanessa was doing everything in her power to maintain the dignity of all those involved in the crash. So how did we get here? Turns out that a deputy trainee was in a bar trying to impress a woman. A bartender overheard him and became so angry that that bartender went online and filed a complaint with the sheriff's office. The sheriff contacted all of those who may have been involved in taking those pictures and told them, bring them in and we won't take any further action. Bring those pictures in and delete them and that'll be the end of it. They didn't conduct an investigation until they were contacted by the L.A. Times. So now that the cat is out the bag, now they want to go in with an investigation. Here's where I stand. All of those involved need to be made an example out of because this is not just about Kobe and the other victims. This is to protect the integrity of future victims, future loved ones having to go through something like this. They took pictures, these deplorables took pictures of the remains of the victims and their goal was to publish them. So they have to go hard on them. They have to make them out of examples. They have to severely punish them. Let us know who they are. They need to blast those pictures all over social media, all over television stations around the world. Let us see these dogs. We need to see them. I want to see the faces and I want the names. The public deserves that. They need to be made an example out of, and I'm saying this because it needs to be severe so that they can send out a strong warning to those who may decide to do something like that in the future. Because this type of stuff happens quite often. And so if you make a very strong example out of those who were involved, it will send a clear message to the ones who are listening right now, those who know what's going on, those who heard about what's going on, it will serve as a cautionary tale. Oh, whoa, whoa, we don't want to do that. I'm not willing to risk my career. I'm not willing to risk my pension over this. You know, I'd like to take these pictures, but I don't want to risk it. But besides them taking the pictures, these publications should be held accountable also. This is so, so what you do is that you eliminate the money angle. Take away the bag, and now they don't have an incentive to plaster those, uh, those pictures all over the internet. The incentive is not big enough. 
Maybe the incentive is to brag, but that's not big enough because they're not going to, well, most of them won't. Some, you got some dummies out there. But most will not sacrifice their career. They're not going to sacrifice their bag just for bragging rights. Just for just to get a, a reaction from a, from a woman. They're not going to do it. Not in most cases. They got to be real stern with this. They got to make them out of examples. Show us their faces and we need names we'll take it from there no more talk what, what, what the ladies talking about